little YouTube. That's a little move, cool cow. This is our 87 Dodge Van B250 three quarter ton. Standard roof, extended tail, cargo van, which is going to be converted into a camper van. I'm not a full time van lifer, although <laughs> extension cord hung, hung up to the barn over there might make you think otherwise, but I work 200 and plus miles from where I live. I mean, look, electrical outlet the other side of the shop over there and uh staying in hotels and bed and breakfast and everything is starting to cost some money uh it's costing me partner half my wages it's a long story why you got a job so far away michael well i live in the ozarks on the arkansas side of the missouri line and the plethora of jobs he said with a pinch of sarcasm between his cheek and gum there's just not a lot of work around here I've been working for this company I'm at on and off for 20 years. And I knew that I can call them and say, hey, I need some work. The problem is, I live in the Ozark Mountains, foothills of the Ozark Mountains. And the work is 230 plus miles east of here in Jackson, Tennessee. So, from Black Rock, Arkansas to straight shops across Fort US 412, but getting to Black Rock, Arkansas is a little tricky. But nonetheless, I stay out there all week. And then I come home. That's home right there. Part of it, anyway. Side view. It's a lot bigger from the front. But the trick is to take this right here and convert it into a camper van. The reason being, it's paid for. It's mine. $2,500, I own it. So the uh, that dark brown spot right there behind the seats, <laughs> apparently I'm not the first one to have this idea. Somebody thought, well, I'll take some vinyl stick-on imitation hardwood floor. <laughs> and they didn't consider it as vinyl, flexible, might as well say plastic. Anyway, I'm going to peel that up when I get ready to insulate. But... Got the heater going, so I'm getting ready to do some work in here. Today's task is going to be to install that attic roof vent, which would usually be on the roof of a house this way. But it's going to get mounted on the floor right there in the position it's in. Those connectors are going to be on the inside, going from the hole that's about to get cut into the floor to accommodate that vent. And they're going to come up to the air conditioning unit that is not going to be hanging out that window. It's just as redneck as it gets. I don't like the way that looks. Hillbilly Hotel, whatever. It ain't me. I've seen a few folks have the air conditioner mounted right up inside here. One guy had a bulkhead built across this. I call them whale ribs. Kind of the way they look. Anyway, he had his uh, a bulkhead right across there. And this was all solid wood with the air conditioner mounted in that. I want to keep it open so that if I can, I can still use this as an actual van from time to time. So, hence the reason for that there. That wood frame is made to lock the bunk in place, and the bunk is removable. It's temporary. Eventually, I'm going to build cabinets with the bunk in between, and we'll go from there. But those are going to accommodate the line, the insulated hose, 8 inch hose, that's going to come up from the floor into the back of the air conditioner, which will be right about up in here, just about where that speaker is. And that's today's task, because the other day it was 61 degrees outside and it was just about 85 inside. And uh, that's nothing compared to what's gonna be like during the summer. So, of course, I've gotta insulate, I've got all kinds of things to do, but this is a week by week project. You can't spend all your money on the van and still not pay your mortgage and your other bills, so. Anyhow, little by little, I'm going to transform it into something that the mama and me can go camping in. Uh, nice thing about living in the Ozarks, there's all kinds of beautiful, nat natural, scenic places to go, get away for the weekend. That's the plan. Meanwhile, I just want to show you all, I'm about to get started on it. And 
we'll uh, we'll keep adding to it as we go. And when it's all said and done, hopefully the misses and even you guys watching this will be going, ooh, that's neat. I've looked at the way some people will take the bunk and they'll mount the bunk sideways just right behind the wheel wells on a van like this, a uh, standard wheel base van, they'll mount it right above the wheel wells and going across ways, but I'm 5'9 and a half, <laughs> 240 pounds, and I like the idea of being comfortable. So what I'm going to do is right about where that whale rib is with that speaker there, there's one on each side, that was a factory I guess, um, right there is about where the head of the bunk is going to be, and it's going to have a headboard, and um, the bunk's going to run straight down the center. It's a 42 inch wide twin, just standard twin bunk like you'd buy for your kids in a bunk beds. And you can see the amount of room there is about 8 inches on either side here that I'm going to build cabinets that are going to be flush on, a, on each side, flush to the top of the mattress. That mattress, when I've had this in use already, that mattress comes right about even with the back of the, the bottom of this door jam right here. And then, of course, it still leaves me from there all the way across, which would be the whale rib just to your left as you're viewing that heater. It gives me that space there to the back of the seats free. For now, when it's all said and done, the heater is temporary. It's a little cool out today, so I have that. But there's going to be an actual refrigerator-freezer combo right behind that seat. A small cabinet between the refrigerator and the bottom of the bunk. And uh, I actually have another heater that's going to get mounted right inside this door right here. It runs off the engine. And uh, when I'm done, I have a generator that I'm going to run just like the RVers do. It's a whisper quiet. Runs at 58 decibels as a, compared to the usual 78 to 92. And um, the trick is not to run it outside the back doors right there where your head is when you're trying to sleep. I'm going to run it right out there where the engine is by the front bumper. And uh, I'll be able to sleep just fine. Where I'll be sleeping is not a campground. There's a trucking yard. I really don't think the generator is going to be bothering anybody when they've got a loud diesel engine and the truck they're sleeping in. So but this is the way it's going to start off. And when it's all said and done, we'll put a couple of holes in that floor down there and work with that project. And hopefully I can remain in comfort. That's the plan. We will see y'all on the other side next video. Y'all take care. Be good to each other. Bye.